Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing something different. The reason I bought this. So I'm going to be doing a type of dead zombie makeup. So that's why I've got my little mirror. It's kind of dirty, but... Well, so the first thing you're going to need for this look is... Mine's covered in purple hair dye, but... Hazel! No, I don't need you to play with it. Sorry about that. You're going to need like a makeup... Like a, like a Halloween makeup-y type thing. Just gonna put a little bit. If it works. Oh, if you're wondering why I'm not a college, because I'm poorly sick. And I have been for a few days. Because I've done something to my arm. So you want a little bit of your hand. And it's, and it's just going to put, just to put on your face to start off with. Uh, so, you want to like put an even coat all of your face and you want to make your face look really re like nice and pale it doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to put more of this on in a bit but it does have to look nice if you know what I mean do a makeup tutorial for a while just making sure it's still recording yes it is but I've never really built the courage to do it because I'm I really enjoy doing like a special effects makeup thing and I think I'm quite good at it because I've given myself a fake black eye before and everything but I'm not going to show you that today but if people like this then I will be doing more of these so this is just a try to see if people like it. And I'm really hoping people do. Because I really like doing things like this. So you really want a nice even coat and you want to look like almost ghostly pale you you want to look dead get my hair out of my face and you want to just like that do you see now you're gonna get um, one of these concealer, just uh, your yeah, everyday concealer. Some using the things that you'd find normally on everyday shops, like you could find that cream stuff in a Halloween shop, and you just want to outline your eyes. And your lips. Because they are some of the most important things to this look. You need it, you just want to open it, you don't want it to go anywhere else but your lips. It's alright if it goes a little bit on the side. Just blending your lips into your face. Like that. And then you want to just, if you just rub it around your eyes. So, we're going to focus first on the eyes because... They are one of the biggest things in this zombie look. Your lips. With me, the lips always come last. And I'm not wearing any mascara in this one, but I normally would. But not this time. So, so I'm using Collections, Collection Work the Colour palette. It's like it's just a simple palette. you got your blacks. It had a grey, but it kind of ran out. <laughs> so I used it that much. And a cream. It's a, a highlighter, that's what it's called. I've got another set of eyeshadows what I'm using as well. So you want to get the black. And you think, you just want to rub it around, all around your eyes. Because you want to have nice dark eyes. And we will be using this black quite a bit in this look. I 
Right, it doesn't have to look perfect because you are going to add more stuff. So that's just one eye. As you can see, it looks pretty weird. It looks, it doesn't look quite right anymore. But it will when it's done. You start on your riser. some of the cream stuff like the highlighter mine's a bit grey colour because I've been using it with black you just want to pat it over your eyelid I know it's a bit sparkly but that really doesn't matter if it's sparkly because it's just simple thing and then you want I've got collection again the work the colour nude eye palette and I'm using this colour here. It doesn't have a name, but it's a colour. So I'm just going to put a bit of that on the lid of my eye. So you want it to kind of look like this. I know I'm not the perfect person for doing this, but I really enjoy it, that's what I'm doing. Now you want to get your concealer again, you just want to under your eyes. So this will neaten up and over your eyebrows as well. It doesn't matter, it doesn't bother your eyebrows, you just want to blend it in. You want to get rid of your eyebrow look because you're going to draw your eyebrows back on. See when it kind of looks like this. And that's technically your eyes done. They're nice big ones. Just going to add a bit more black around this eye. As your eyes done because they're dark, they've got dark circles around them, but they look night, they look natural almost, but except from the glitter. But <laughs> now, you want to use your black again. I know I'm using this black a lot and it's going to run out soon enough. I've got plenty of it, so and you want to get it, and you want to put it, you get this, you want to put it where your cheekbones are on both sides. Then put a bit of concealer on either side, and a bit with it. And you want to just rub that in. So that's going to give you an almost skeletal, deathly look. Before you say anything, yes, I've done this look before I did it last night. I did post a picture on my Facebook, and I will be posting it on my Twitter. Before I upload this picture, before I upload this video, this the Twitter photo would have been uploaded to the photo would have been uploaded to Twitter. So I've got these dark bits around my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna do my nose, so because your nose is bone structure as well, so you want it just over the top of your nose, and then and these bits as well. You want to blend that in. And it doesn't matter if your face looks dirty, it's meant to because you're kind of a zombie dead person. And it's your... And the fun thing I have doing is, when you're creating the look, is you can create how you died. And you're not doing... <coughs> Hazel! <laughs> you can create how your character might have died, so... so if you like this again, you're going to get it on these bits.
Okay. And so it's like a nice dark, deadly look. That means burning. Okay. Now we're gonna go into the eyebrows. So again, we're gonna use this colour. And you're just gonna put a bit in your finger and you just wanna blend it into your eyebrows. You you can have it any shape that you want. I'm just going to go over my eyebrow shape. Right, you can make yourself look however you want. How scary you want, how not scary you want. And it's a really great friends to... Really great, a really great way to... Ow. Freak your friends out. If you're having a sleepover and you just want to have a little bit of fun... Use this look and when they come, <laughs> use this look and just stare at them while they're sleeping. And so when they wake up, they get a nice surprise. <sighs> now, you're going to get your white stuff again. And then you're just going to put it back on your forehead. It's going to blend in with the black on your fingers. So you're not, meant, you're not washing your hands the whole way through this. <clears throat> so you just add a bit more pale to yourself. You just want to go round all the black bits and all the dark bits. Blending it in the whole time as well. Getting it around the piercing is hard, but it's so worth it when it's done. And you can see I got it all over my piercing. You can see how pale I'm starting to look. I guess I want to look almost ghostly. So you want to look like that. I think I actually look, I love this look, really. I would never go out in public like it, but. Give me a second. That was the best one. <laughs> oh, I should have freaked him out. Saying I'm not done yet, but. Hey, why not freak someone out? Now you want to get your eyeliner. Eyeliner, just a simple black eyeliner that you'll find in most girls' There's a um, makeup bag, liquid as well. Just want to do a nice flick of your eyelid. Like that. You want it to leave it to dry as well. The eyes done, simple and easy. So I let them dry. Doesn't matter if you get like a little flick on top of your eye. If you're struggling, that just close your eyes for a few seconds, and they will dry. And while they're drying, la 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 la. Now I've got. Then you're gonna get a simple 
lip gloss. Clear. It has to be clear. Oh, God. <laughs> Clear. I know it looks pink, but that's because I've been using it over lip gloss. I've been using it over lipstick. Use one. Put it on your lips. Because you put the concealer over your lips, you can make your lips any shape that you want. That's mine. And now, I know this sounds weird, but you want to get your black eyeshadow again. No, your black. Your brown, and you just want to put it over your lips. Because it gives you, like, a dirty lip look. And trust me, this method works better than lip stick. Just clean it up as you go. And then you want to move on to your black eyeshadow. And you just put that over it as well. And that's really it. That's the look. You just want to mess your hair up it as well. You just want to really get it messed up and then just go scare people. <laughs> well, if you're going to a Halloween party, this works as well. For that dead girl look. Just scaring you, Lynn. I love this look, and I've done. I'm gonna do more looks if you enjoy this video. And in the, if you do enjoy this video, I will be using fake blood and everything in my next looks because I really love doing stuff like this. And I know I look absolutely crazy at the moment, and I know I look kind of spooky, but hey, it's fun. So I am now gonna go and try and scare someone. Just wait for Becky to come around because she's coming around today. <laughs> And yeah, thank you for watching my video. I will see you guys whenever I can be bothered next. So I'm going to upload this video now, actually, after I wash this off. So I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Mwah!